Assalamu alaikum. This is the hadith of the Messenger of Allah in which he says having intercourse with one's wife, one's spouse is charity. This is a well known hadith. Right? We know this in our deen. This is like, you know, everybody knows this. So if you know this, then you should strive to be good at it. You know, you should strive to be good at it. Um, another hadith give charity with your right hand without your left hand knowing. This means like being, being at a stage where you're very good at giving charity in a proper etiquette and form, etc. I'm just giving examples. To compare the two, so there's nothing wrong with studying this topic. You know, ulama have written about it, they have spoken about it, either they have written works about it or have mentioned it in separate works or separate statements in their classes, etc. Such as Al Ghazali, Al Suyuti, Ibn Uthaymin, Ibn Qudama, etc., and so much other ulama other than them. Sheikh Raslan, there's videos um, of Sheikh Raslan speaking about this matter, um, intimacy, and its fiqh in YouTube videos. So alhamdulillah, it's something established in the religion to, to learn about this matter, especially, especially when it's needed to learn about it. You know, if it's not working out, you know, whatever you're doing in your marriage and, and neither of the two is happy or neither of the one is happy, then it's time to start learning, you know. And this is something that a lot of people frown upon and they, and they um, take this knowledge as something to be shameful. Or something like this and marriages end up breaking apart when it could have been fixed with you know reading a simple book or listening to a simple lecture or something like this in which they could have you know learned about what they could do to make it better what's shameful is ending a marriage without seeking knowledge about how you can make it better unfortunately and especially in our time where where this matter or this fitna of of um fitna how do i call this of like hyper sexualized everything from social media to the schools to, to the upbringing of our children everything right so people develop higher um sexual desires unfortunately and it affects them so i think this is a matter to learn about you know you learn about it you be good at it inshallah you try your best you know learn techniques learn these matters learn the realities learn the anatomy of the woman of the man etc and alhamdulillah I'm, I'm glad i'm glad these books are being published i'm glad for it because this is a matter that many people fall into and they are like, you know, lost and they have no idea what to do. But alhamdulillah, these books are being published and the knowledge is being spread. Barakallahu fikum wa jazakumallahu khayran. One more thing, it's understandable if you're at, a, you're at a certain age or a certain level of maturity that you do not need to study this topic, then do not study it. Because it could be harmful. If you study this topic at, at a stage where you do not need to be studying it, you're not looking to get married, you don't have no intention to get married as of yet or something like this, no need to study it. Why could it be harmful? Because when you learn these things, you may develop desires that you didn't have before and it could happen. So you have to be mindful of Allah. Especially, I, I, and I, some people think of me as being too much for saying this, but you shouldn't be studying this topic if you did not study Aqidah and Tawheed. If you do not know that Allah is ar razaq and how you can relate the name of Allah Ar-Razak to your marriage, how Allah is the ultimate provider of everything of happiness that you have, and related to all aspects of your marriage, you're not at the level to be learning this topic. You need to learn Tawheed, Aqidah, and establish it in your life. Barakallahu fikum.